Lunchtime on a weekday in Wyndham and cars are steadily streaming into Griffin Park, all in search of the Mexican-style food with a Central American flair being cooked up on Rico's Burritos food truck. We met when we were younger at a Mexican restaurant and we've worked together for probably about 10 years in the restaurant business and then we decided to either do a restaurant or a food truck and this is the route we took. Danilo and Amanda Portillo don't have a lot of room on their food truck, but that doesn't stop them from churning out fresh food fast. Yeah, you will see that that probably is a small truck when we go to the festival, but probably the, with the biggest line. Danilo grew up in Honduras and learned to cook from watching his abuela. A secret sauce? Yeah, secret spice. We have Mexican food and we also do egg rolls, empanadas, tacos, burritos, burrito bowls, and all that stuff. The food is always prepared using fresh ingredients. Everything's fresh, yeah. sauce is made from scratch. We have the guacamole, sauce, all the stuff is homemade, everything. Amanda handles the front of the truck and says interacting with customers makes the long days on the truck truly worth it. They love it. Yeah, we we always get good reactions. Um, I like it to see people happy, enjoy their food. Sometimes we have people in there, they sitting over there, eating their food, having a good time. That is my favorite part. A hidden gem in Manchester is cooking up authentic Puerto Rican food in the back of a convenience store. Mi Familia at Parkside Convenience hasn't been open very long, but word is spreading quickly, keeping Ronald and Tyra Torres busy. The husband and wife team previously owned a restaurant in Massachusetts, and after a few years out of the biz, they decided it was time to start cooking again. We thought the kitchen would be good. Also, Manchester needed a Puerto Rican restaurant. There's a ton of restaurants here, very good food. We love them, we eat at them also, but we need something authentic of our, our culture, and we thought we, it would be a good idea. Tyra spends her time in the kitchen layering flavors and turning out some Puerto Rican favorites. So this is plant, um, plantains, green plantains. This is a um, garlic sauce that I make. And then this is a paste of garlic that I make as well. And that's what gives it the flavor. The recipes come from my grandmother. Uh, from Puerto Rico. Uh, we lived in Lawrence, Mass, and she showed me since young. I want to say like since five years old. A lot of folks come in don't really know our culture food, and our big question we get a lot is, how spicy is your food? How hot is it? Because we don't really like hots. It is not hot at all. You can grab hot sauce and pour it on as much as you want, make it as hot as you want. Our food is uh, just flavor. We use a lot of herbs and spices, a lot of garlic, onions, peppers. So it's just a lot of flavor. That's a mofongo with chicharron and salad. We love, we call it Mi Familia because we want everybody to feel family. Like when you come in here, we want a good experience. You want to walk out with a good experience, a smile on your face. husband and wife team works at a breakneck pace to make over a thousand empanadas a week to satisfy hungry granite staters who just can't get enough. I think the best way to describe it is kind of like a, a deep fried mini calzone. Rosa and Alex Martinez took a leap of faith when they opened Empanada Deluxe 603 in 2023. The first park was about 10 years ago when I met Alex. We were on our, one of our first dates and he said, I would like to introduce authentic Latin food in a place that's predominantly Caucasian or that doesn't have our kind of food. So that was 10 years ago. 
Now you can find them in their signature red trailer popping up all over southern New Hampshire. We are in the Creative Chef's Kitchen out of Derry, New Hampshire, and this is where we do all of our cooking for our empanadas. We use lots of fresh ingredients. Once you start cutting corners, the flavor is never gonna be the same. I grew up in Atlantic cuisine. I was born in the Dominican Republic, so that's all I knew. There's been different dishes that have inspired me from other cultures, even from Mexico, from Colombia, from Venezuelan, from Dominican Republic, and you kind of play around with different flavors and texture profiles, and then you make it your own. On the truck, you can find anything from a mac and cheese empanada to a beefy cheese, and just about every filling in between. We always have six flavors on our food truck, but those six flavors might not be the same tomorrow. Rosa says the most common reaction they get is customers coming back for seconds. The best part is seeing people's reaction when they take that first bite. You see the faces light up and they go in for a second bite. I think that's the most rewarding. That's the best part, knowing that they like our food.